I'm Natalie Sather here at Williams Grove Speedway with driver of the number 20, Ryan Taylor. Ryan, last night, in my opinion, the race of the night was the heat race with you and Steve Kinzer. He is the king of the outlaws, has more experience than you are probably old, <laughs> and you guys were battling back and forth. Describe to me how intense that was in your heat race with him. Uh, it's one of them deals, I guess, where you got to put everything on the line. Um, I just tried to drive as hard as I could and knew knew who I was up against pretty much and, and that I had to put it all out there. And uh, my guys gave me a great car and I had the car to do it, so I just figured I could get the job done and luckily we were able to. I'm going to get into detail for the race fans that weren't able to see it. Uh, the one, the, one of the many moves that I saw was you actually passed Steve and he actually kind of hit you a little bit and luckily it was squared and you held on for dear life and got by him and it, it was it was such intense racing yeah it, it really was intense um that's probably the best way to put it it was pretty adrenaline packed um but yeah we were going down the back straightaway after i rolled the top side on him in one and two and then right before we entered three and four um he ended up getting into my left rear of me and kind of got me a little bit sideways but i think it messed him up enough for the entry on his corner too that it still worked out in my favor um but it's just, it's hard racing and, you know, running with the outlaws, they come in here, they know they got to get the job done against us guys and that, you know, we're, we're stiff competition to them. So I think they put it all out there and uh, to do that with him, though, was, was pretty exciting and to see the feedback so far has been pretty awesome, too. I actually was watching him and he made a move that's not your typical Steve Kenzer. He actually entered in right on the bottom that allowed you to capitalize on that and you thought maybe you were going to get him. Did you know he was going to come back and have another shot at you? Um, I didn't know that he was going to come back. I mean, he did that bottom line down in three and four the first time and then after he did that, I sailed the top on him, got around him and just checked out in the front and I didn't realize that he was right on my back doorstep and then when he come back down around me here, one and two, uh, I knew I had to turn the wick back up and get back after him. And um, like I said, I, I had the car to do it. So um, I pretty much just had to push as hard as I could to get back around him. And then uh, we were able to do it with coming to the coming to the checker, going into three and four, and pull around him on the top side. But um, just just a really, it, it was more than anything. It was probably one of the most fun races I've ever had. So you said people have been tweeting you, messaging you. What have, what's the fans' reaction and your friends' reaction been? I think they're all posse proud, <laughs> more than anything. They, uh, the, the fans here, Beer Hill Gang was going nuts. The front straightaway was going nuts. Everybody in the infield is giving thumbs up and clapping. and It's just that kind of excitement that gets in you as a driver and really lights you up and, and creates that passion that you want to come back out and do good. And you want to do good for your hometown, you know. Um, when the outlaws come in here, for us, it's all about beating the outlaws. And uh, so to be able to pull that off for Williams Grove and the fans of Williams Grove, um, it's an honor for me to be able to do something like that. And uh, I think it was our second race here this year. So to, to nail the setup that good and do that, I was really, really happy with it and happy for the fans here. Well, keep your eye on him tonight. Driver Ryan Taylor.